Many rappers have died at a very young age, including overdose of drugs or being a victim of a violent crime or even murder. In today's video, we will be discussing why rappers of this generation are dying so young and what exactly is going wrong in their life. But before we get into the details, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Now let's take a look. One issue is that these rappers' careers have been created at an unparalleled rate. Unlike previous generations of musicians who may have spent years gigging before being discovered, DIY rap stars have bypassed the record industry's gatekeepers to amass fortune and acclaim, frequently while still in their teens, leaving them having to adjust to unexpected stardom. Many excellent rappers have their lives cut early before the age of 25. Here are a few examples of a noticeable pattern. Tupac Tupac Shakir was possibly the most beloved rapper of all time, and his tragic death is still lamented by hip-hop enthusiasts old and new. On September 13, 1996, Tupac Shakir was assassinated. The method of his death remains a mystery among the hip-hop scene and the music industry at large. Tupac's impact on hip-hop is undeniable, with legendary singles as well as a burgeoning and successful acting career. His preaching and activity in the black community are other factors in his popularity. Shakira died when he was 25. May he rest in peace. Biggie Biggie, aka Notorious B.I.G., another renowned artist with the same massive hip-hop influence domain as Tupac, was killed as a consequence of drive-by shootings in Los Angeles on March 9, 1997. Biggie Smalls was 24 years old at the time. His music, notably the posthumous CD Life After Death, continues to carry on his legacy. R.I.P. Biggie, the rapper who placed Brooklyn on the map. Little Peep in terms of more contemporary rapper fatalities, a string of high-profile deaths began with musician Lil Peep's accidental drug overdose. Lil Peep, born Gustav Elijah, is widely regarded as a member of the new school of rappers who popularized emo rap. A deadly amount of fentanyl killed the SoundCloud rapper, whose admirers admired him for sharing their pain, vulnerability, and mental health struggles. Before his death, he was working on the CD Come Over When You're Sober, Part 2. Lil Peep died barely two weeks after reaching the age of 21. Jimmy Wopos Jimmy Wopo, born Trevon Deshaun Frank Smart, was assassinated on a Monday afternoon in the Pittsburgh neighborhood he helped make famous. Wopo was expected to strike a deal with Wiz Khalifa's company, Taylor Gang Entertainment. He died when he was only 21 years old. Triple X Tentation Triple X Tentation, a controversial personality in hip-hop, was assassinated during an alleged heist. The rapper, born Jase Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, was among the emerging emo rap roster of performance. X died on June 18, 2018, at the age of 20. He was known for both his emotionally profound songs and his assaults on women. Juice World Juice World, another emo rap icon, died as a result of an accidental drug overdose and subsequent seizure. In his music, Jared Anthony Higgins frequently discussed his battle with substance misuse. Legends Never Die was published on July 10, 2020, seven months after his death. Juice World was 21 years old at the time. Lexi Elijah Lexi Elijah, knee Alexis Elijah Lynch, a rising rapper, died of a heroin overdose on January 1st, 2020. She was 21 years old at the time. Through her music, the Minnesota rapper hoped to assist her family and neighborhood. She died of a fentanyl overdose before her dreams could be realized. China China Marie Rogers was a model from Philadelphia who stunned the globe with her rapping abilities. China, who goes by the moniker China, collaborated with ASAP Mob on the Cozy Tapes and released her album In Case I Die First in 2019. She died in an accidental drug overdose on April 8, 2020, at the age of 25, similar to her mentor ASAP Yams. Many of these rappers addressed their own mortality in rhymes about death, drugs, and sadness. 
Death is prevalent in SoundCloud rap, with a teardrop serving as the genre's unofficial insignia. Smoke Perp appeared in a coffin for the artwork for his Dead Star mixtape, and Peep, often called the Kurt Cobain of his generation, owing to his cherubic face, placid manner, and dedication to his ever spiraling nihilism, intoned, everybody telling my life short, but I wanna die, on his 2017 track, The Bright Side. Many of these young rappers died as a consequence of homicide or an unintentional drug overdose. Their fans were among the most surprised since they had expected to hear much more from their performers. Most had a lot more life and melody to offer. But what do their similar and early deaths tell us about the status of hip-hop and rap? The rap community needs to promote awareness about substance addiction, mental illness, and healthy ways of squashing strife. We don't want any more young artists to perish as a result of these unavoidable problems. Rest in peace to everyone we've lost. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then drop a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. And don't forget to press the bell icon below to always stay updated about our future uploads. See you in the next one.